Hi guys, welcome to another video. Right, today I have for you a uh, an Amazon HD 10 9th Gen. And uh, the actual model number is uh, M2V3R5. Uh, so the issue with this, as you can see, has a cracked screen. Now uh, these are a complete unit. It's not, not a separate digitizer. It's a LCD and digitizer uh, in one piece. So the first thing I'm gonna do actually is remove the back cover and I want to disconnect the battery before I start working on the device. Well, I may not need to, but I'll uh, I'll do it anyway. So the first thing I'm going to do is take it apart. I'm going to get in between uh, the the LCD frame and the back case. Uh, so you just, can just pop it out. It should come out all easily. <coughs> Sorry, can't see me there. But I'm just using my trusted little tool that I always use. Uh, be careful uh, that there's no SD card in the device. There isn't, and that's okay. So I'm not going to go. Uh, I always like to pull out the other side of the SD card. I don't like to catch. Maybe the frame can get caught into the casing and pull the pull the frame out. So don't even need to use at all. I can use my my nails and fingers. And uh, we're almost out now. Okay. There you go. So. Just got the battery first with this body tool. Okay, that's done. I like to use this colour, so uh, when I put it in between my other tools, I don't I know exactly where it is, it sticks out like a sore thumb. Um, so the LCD uh, connector is uh, there, uh, I imagine. Let's just have a look. Let's have a look at the new, the new screen has arrived. So let's open that up as well. A little blade gone just to get rid of this uh, tape that's just there. Okay, so you got the the connector for the the digitizer possibly. Uh, that's for the LCD. And that goes to the motherboard connector. You can see it goes from here to there, and it will connect here. So what we're going to do first of all is remove the the, uh, the panel, screen panel. And for that I'm using my uh, heat pad which I've got here. And then I've set that to 80 degrees, uh, I think. Let's have a look what I've set it to. Yeah, it's set to 80. That's good. Now I'm going to leave that on there for about 5 uh, to 7 minutes and see how we get on. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, crack on with it. Right, that should now uh, be be warm enough to get the the screen out. Mind you, I should uh, disconnect. Let it leave it on there for a little while. And I'm going to disconnect the. Uh... If I want to take the battery out, that's what I should be doing, uh, which I haven't done. So I'm just going to leave it on there uh, <clears throat> to cook for a while. Where's the the back of the tray, back of the device? Just put that into the there for now. This shouldn't take too long. Um, I'm actually going to um, test this screen first before putting it in, uh, but before uh, bonding it down. And uh, with regards to the bonding, I'm not going to use double-sided tape, the tester tape, because I find over time it does become a little bit weak. Um, but I'm going to bond this one down with uh, this uh, glue that I have. It's called T9000S, uh, which is this is a black glue. Um, we've got the uh, connectors for the Wi-Fi as well. That comes off. So it's into the battery frame. So we've got a oh, screw missing there. Missed out. Okay, so there's the connector uh, for the LCD. My hands are going to fry if I don't take this take this out. So see if we can get underneath there, pull that tape off. And open the gate. I think it's on this, this side. So I can see. Yep, there you go. Just 
Oh, that connector out. I don't want to just going to pull the whole thing off. I'm taking it off, but I don't want to damage it. It could easily damage one of these things, then you're in big trouble. Okay, so that goes, I told you there, it goes to the motherboard, and the other one goes to the display. Okay, so I'm going to switch this my heat pad off, and I'm going to get a little bit of alcohol just in between the seam, uh, the, the gap between the LCD and the frame, because we need the... So, <clears throat> here's the new screen. Just put that in there for now. Oh, has it got a frame? No, it hasn't come with oh, God, I thought, I thought it came with a frame. And I thought, wow, that's a bit of lucky, isn't it? You know. Um, but I want to remove some of the old glue first. You can just. LCD in now, and like I said, we're only doing this to test out uh, the screen. So that goes to the uh, motherboard. Put the other side of the flex into the LCD. Hopefully the battery has some charge. Before I um, bond it down, I do want to make sure I've got a few marks on that screen actually. Yeah, that's good. Okay, yeah, that's fine. All working perfectly. Just going to check that the letters all respond. So far, so good. I'm quite confident this part is spot on. So let's just go ahead and repond the device. Let's power it down. Okay, let's uh, bond it down now. We're going to disconnect the battery. To one side, we're going to do, disconnect the uh, 
flex from the LCD connector. That to one side as well. This should just fall out. There you go. So I'm going to take these pads off. Put them almost in the exact position on the, the new LCD. See this connect, we need to remove this uh, antenna as well. That connects to the board just there. So make sure that we put that in there. We'll put that in the correct position. So we'll take it off here now and I'll apply it to the board now so we know it's in, this, in the right position. Careful, we don't damage it. Okay, that's that off. New screen to one side, and this, it's actually got a, uh, a guide for it, so you can't really get it wrong. So, there you go. And there's already tape on the side, so you don't need to worry about that too much. So like I said, I'm gonna bond it down. I've got this T8000 bonding glue that I use. Tape left over there. Okay, I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead um, and apply it. This is really strong stuff. So I'm just going to go around, make sure I get it to the edge. Okay, that should be uh, nicely uh, tacky now. If you want to just test it out, you just got a screwdriver and uh, or something, and you can see now it's not like water. Make sure you get it the correct way around. And you don't want any uh, the plastic tab getting underneath and getting in between the frame and the LCD. Okay, just make sure it sits nice and flush, which it does. Well, this side does. Hey, this device is slightly bent. It's got like a, a bit of a kink in it, to be honest. Um, maybe that's because there's, there's no battery in it or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that looks good. I'm happy with that. Let's go around pressing it in. And it will... DC was start doing its magic, which it is. As you can see now, that's that's pretty clean. There. That looks really good actually. I'm happy with that. So you can just go around if you want to and just turn it over and press it down. And again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to Connect it up, power it up before I put it all back together. Okay, make sure that it's, this is stuck down. Okay, that's done. the battery power button okay that's fine now I can go ahead and screw it down As you can see, it didn't take me too long to do it, to be honest. Uh, it's probably food. I'll probably do it even quicker if I wasn't talking and explaining to you what I was doing as I was going along. But 
so it's just a guide on how to guide and how to change an LCD on one of these devices. Hope you like the video um, and you like and subscribe so you don't miss any future ones. Uh, it just makes the job more interesting for us to keep doing YouTube videos if we get more subscribers. Uh, eventually we'll be earning something out of it, hopefully. That'll be a, a, a wonderful bonus for us. And that just keeps us providing more content and keeps us more engaged with our subscribers. Okay, and then put the Wi-Fi cable back in its position. Again, if you do do one of these, I would recommend taking pictures as you go along because that way you're not going to, it's not come off as it, no. You're not gonna miss, <clears throat> place anything. Um, you know, I've done that in the past. I think, oh wow, that's a bit complicated. Let me just take a quick picture because if I do forget where something needs to go back in or uh, a way a cable is routed, then you're not missing out. Just make sure the device is still powered up. Yep. That one feels a bit, a bit weird. Well, that's okay. Some silver thing in there, maybe a bit of metal from a previous job. I don't know. But while I'm here, I'm just gonna wipe all some of the rubbish away. But yeah, that's it. Job done. I hope you liked the video, um, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.